I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely cannot put Persona 3 Reload down. Playing it between the PC version and on my Steam Deck, I've already sunk it in quite a few hours into the game. What they've managed to do by giving Persona 3 a fresh coat of new paint, all while staying true to the original story and characters, has made this a truly exceptional game. Atlas has outdone themselves with this one. This has led Atlas to a major milestone. Persona 3 Reload has managed to sell 1 million copies in its first week. That makes it not only the fastest selling title in the Persona series, it also makes it the fastest selling Atlas title ever. Mind you, this is with the game being on PC and Xbox Game Pass, meaning that for millions of users, there was going to be no additional cost to purchase Persona 3 Reload. And it managed to hit that milestone regardless of all of that. People are still willing to pay money for this on PS5 and Steam. And the fact that this game is selling even faster faster than Persona 5. All of this is to say that Persona 3 Reload has been a massive success for Atlas, and so naturally people are curious about the possibility of even more Persona remakes. And this is something that we have discussed in previous videos, with many people hopeful for remakes of Persona 1, 2 Duology, and some even hopeful for a remake of Persona 4. Of course, while I wouldn't mind seeing Persona 4 Golden getting a remake and looking and playing like Persona Persona 3 Reload, of all the Persona games that do need a remake, it is probably the one that needs it the least. However, despite this, it's still ranked among the most desired remakes for Atlas to do, right next to Persona 3 and 2 Duology. Well today, we have some news from some very reliable sources with regards to where the future of Persona remakes is going. This is some news that was both surprising and unsurprising to me, so if you love Persona, you are going to want to hit that subscribe button, because this channel gives you every bit of Persona news that the internet has to offer. And today, it has quite a bit to offer when it comes to Persona 2 and Persona 4 remakes. This rumor yet again comes from incredibly reliable leaker Midori, who has a pretty much 100% track record. In fact, she is so accurate and so good she's predicted things years in advance that it's honestly a mystery to me how Sega and Atlas haven't really shut her down yet. She has continued to be a highly credible source of information. However, even with that being said, because this is not official information, I have to hit you with the rumor warning. All rumors should be assumed to be entirely false. Assume that everything in this video is a lie and no one is telling you the truth. Rumors are reported purely for the fun of speculation, and even though this source has been credible in the past, until this information has been confirmed by Sega and Atlas, you should regard all of it as false. That being said, recently on Twitter, Midori was asked about the potential of P2 and P4 remakes. The thread started with Midori simply saying Ohio, which is good morning in Japanese, followed by someone asking Midori any rumors or leaks about Persona 4 Remake, another person following up, nah nah, how about rumors about Persona 2 Remake, and Midori replying, both exist at Atlas. She then followed up a day later saying, and P1 too, not all all will be like Reload style, and an Atlas PS2 game will get a remaster version. The part of that statement that was really interesting to me was not all will be like Reload style. It seems that there is a few ways that you can read this. The first being is that not all of these will be remakes. Some of these might actually just be remasters. Arbitrarily, P1 or P2 may not get the latest Persona visual style. That is to say, they might be more small-scale remakes. The the other way to interpret this is that they won't be modernizing the gameplay style and staying true to what the original games were, meaning that ultimately they'll still be remakes, but they won't really resemble what P3 Reload is. Shout out to one of my Twitter mutuals, SkyRaiderG7, who also suggested another possibility, that potentially they'll base it off of Persona 6 instead of Reload. In particular, he suggests because the Persona scene talks about the possibility of them moving away from the calendar system. Now, now, personally, I'm a big calendar system nerd, and I don't want them to move away from the calendar system. However, P1 and P2 Duology do not have calendar systems, so if they ever did come up with a system that was free of it and was also modern, it would totally make sense for 1 and 2 to be remade in that style. Unfortunately, we're left to speculate on this because Midori hasn't really clarified yet. She was asked, though, if Shin Megami Tensei was dead, and she replied, no, there's a Netflix game coming and a title connected to SMT5. 
and a remaster title. So if Persona isn't your thing and you're more of a Megaton fan, there is content coming your way. Persona, SMT, and their latest pillar, Metaphor. Atlas fans have a lot to look forward to. Now, it's also important to discuss some rumors that turned out to be fake regarding these remakes. Unfortunately, a leaker that goes by the name I'm a Hero 2 has been off base quite a few times now. He was on Reset Era claiming that P2 would be a remaster and P4 would be a full remake. With his new account name being ahead on the block, he was also banned from Reset Era, so it's worth noting that this rumor was probably false, and he was more than likely just Mara writing Midori. Again, I always recommend not trusting any leaker, no matter who they are. That being said, Midori's track record has been pretty perfect. This being said, it would be hilariously just like Atlas to remake Persona 4 and just remaster Persona 2. Now obviously, if I had to choose between these two, I would choose Persona 2 to get a remake. It's the older game, it's the least accessible, and it would benefit the most by far from a full remake. However, as you guys may have noticed, games that need remakes and games that would highly benefit from remakes are not necessarily the remakes that are chosen to happen. Remakes are in fact a popularity contest. And what could be more popular than Persona 4? Atlas's favorite cow to milk. It's sentimental for them. It was their first cow they realized they could get that much milk out of. This of course also begs the question of the release order of these, with them looking to do remakes of Persona 1, 2, and 4. After the release of 3, do you go back and start with 1? Do you go forward with 4 and then work your way backwards to 2 and 1? There are several ways in which they could approach it. Now, personally speaking, if I were to get my own vote on this, I would rather see them do Persona 2 next. The reason that Persona 4 would come last is because it would benefit the most by being done the latest. It still feels too early for Persona 4 to be remade. The title still plays exceptionally well. For the most part, it would be a remake that is purely focused on graphics, as I still find that the game is accessible in almost all ways. Visually speaking, of course, though, it is nowhere near Persona 3 Reload or Persona 5. And yes, seeing Inaba and the cast of P4 redone in the same style as Reload would be absolutely fantastic, but you never know, right? I thought that RE4 didn't really need a remake. Truthfully, it kind of didn't, but that didn't stop RE4 Remake from also being an incredible game on its own right. A lot of times, even when these remakes are pretty unnecessary, the remake itself is still a great game. But please, let me know your thoughts below. Which Persona game should be the next remake? Persona 1 or 2? Or do you really want them to hop just straight to Persona 4? And I'll see you all in the next video.